Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided, the game where I'm still trying to uh, not actually kill anybody while playing through it. Uh, we arrived at an elevator which I think might get us to Talos Rocker, the leader of Ark, and our uh, goal in this quest. So okay. there we go. I'm moving in on Rucker's position. You got those coordinates yet? I'll transmit them as soon as I've finished my coffee. Don't leave me hanging, Chicane. You just worry about getting our man. And be careful. He's dangerous. We'll see. Okay. So Elias Chicane already warns us again. And we ultimately put away our weapon, apparently. That was not me. So I'm gonna guess that my instincts were right. Uh, there's a camera over there. But since I put away my weapon, I'm supposing I just can get in. Because the camera is green. Hello. Hi. Don't know why he put his uh, blades out. I'm a nom. Hello, I'm Mr. Sure Rucker. Stand if I don't take your word for it. As the customary final request of the condemned man, please do not kill any more of my people on your way out. Their only crime against you is their loyalty to me. We didn't kill anybody. We just made a huge pile of unconscious people. After the train station attacks, I knew it was only a matter of time before they sent someone. Please, sit. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. Our mandate is to fight for the rights of the augmented. Communicate our message, offer assistance. The Ark is a non-violent organization. That guy down below at the front gate wasn't really friendly or non lethal. Alright, then this should be easy. Come with me, answer our questions. Here we go again. We'll have you back here in plenty of time to film your next sermon. I'm not a fool. If I surrender now, I'm never coming back. Once you have me, you intend to make me disappear. But I will not make Solzhenitsyn's mistake. Solzhenitsyn? My people and I will resist you. I thought you were a pacifist. I am. But I'm more than a leader. I am a symbol. That is why you wish to erase me. Well, that's not really humble now, is it? If martyrdom is the only way to remain a symbol, then even my death is preferable to my evaporation. Where's you the said social you enhancer? Don't want any more of your people getting hurt. But if I have to bring you in by force, I will. And they're gonna try to stop me. There's a better chance of avoiding violence if you come along peacefully. You have my word. I will do everything I can to see that you are treated fairly. How dare you speak to me of peace Alpha? and fairness? You assaulted innocent people to get in and Omega. With me on behalf of masters who hide in the shadows, manipulating, controlling, and murdering without the courage to proclaim their convictions in front of the rest of the world. Well, he has kind of a point. Idealistic, responsible, and demoralized. Uses idealism as a shield, needs to be reminded of reality. Exaggerates. Exaggerates. Jesus Christ. Exaggerates his own importance, but welcomes good advice. Conceals insecurities with bluster, desperate for something to hold on to. Huh. Justify, that's for Beta. Patronize, Omega, and turn the tables. You're not any different from them, Rucker. All of you rely on armed men while spouting your rhetoric from behind the safety of a camera. Well, that's turning the tables, and it needs to be reminded of reality. Kind of fits that thing. We saw Alpha pop up twice. So let's turn the tables. You're not any different from them, Rucker. All of you rely on armed men while spouting your rhetoric from behind the safety of a camera. If you want to prove the strength of your convictions, confront your enemies face to face. Whoa, well, uh -oh. that went down. You seem to be more than the unquestioning oh. brute. Oh, look at that. For. That it was refreshing up. to hear that kind of passion and idealism in other people. You're welcome. Particularly after everything I've experienced lately. I have been patient and understanding. Oh, Mega? People non violence and waited Again? for the rest of the world to follow that example. I have had faith in humanity. And beta. And humanity betrayed me. So he's relaxed right now. Uh, we saw Omega pop up twice. Which should say that we're gonna patronize him. Because he's desperate for something to hold on to. Huh. 
Welcomes good advice. Patronize. History has shown that other always spring up in times of chaos and fear. Okay, so that's good advice. So let's go with patronize. Example. History has shown that anti-other movements always spring up in times of chaos and fear. Before deciding oh, to become that the, up. Of the cause, should have made sure you were prepared for it. I thought I was. I thought I could. There we go. Someone had to do it. This is a very precarious Better. time for the movement. These attacks are making everything worse for us. My leadership position within Ark is being threatened, and I suspect the two might even be connected. Alpha? Please, go back to your people. Tell them to give me 14 Better hours again. so I can attempt to resolve the internal conflict. That's interesting. So he thinks that someone in his own organization caused the attack without him knowing in an attempt to seize control of Ark. That could be Marchenko then. Because he was a really aggressive guy. So we saw better the most right now. If I go back empty handed I'll just be replaced probably by someone more eager and less sympathetic. Huh. I'm not gonna do any of the other ones. I'm gonna justify. I'm sorry. If I go back empty handed I'll just be replaced. Probably by someone more eager and less sympathetic. It's coming in we now have a point there. It's honestly the best thing you uh -oh, can do for Oh, that's everyone. going down. Don't go down. Go up. Go up. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suspect you are right. Yes, okay. But can you understand? I'm sorry, this? man. If you were to take me from here, you would be responsible for my Omega and an alpha. You would be responsible for my effacement, the ruination of the Ocean Coalition, and the perversion of everything it stands for. Yes, I realize that, but how can we fix that? So turn the tables again, because we saw Alpha twice. Bottom line hasn't changed. If you come with me willingly, there won't be any violence. You have the choice. The bottom come line on, hasn't Rucker. changed. If you come with me willingly, there won't be any violence. You now have the choice. Choose the non-violent path, or you are the one Like we're doing. Cause. Oh, that went down I a bit. I cannot watch any more of my people die. Okay, so he's accepting. Not on my account. Go up. You've asked me to trust you, and so I will. Thanks, Rucker. Thankful we leave you. together. There's something I must show you. Okay, fine. I suspect there's a power struggle brewing within our organization. Some people inside Ark are less committed to our ideals. Are you trying to tell me you know who's responsible for the bombings? I have only suspicions, and until recently not even that. The evidence I have begun collecting is meager, but I give it to you. Okay. This Sounds like a very good idea. This is the key card for the security door. Okay. The evidence is inside. Why Thanks, give it man. To me? Was that Seraph Industries symbol? Oh, trophy! Because if my suspicions are correct, and I am seen leaving here with you willingly, I may not survive to present my evidence. Oh. Okay. Silver Tongue, and we're back into a cutscene instead of his escorting him out. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying secretly to find out who is responsible. Okay. Rucker. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Is he being hacked? Oh, that doesn't look good. Chicane, Rucker is dead. He just died. I'm okay. okay. Uh, I need to open that security door first. Where exactly? There's some greenhouses near your position. Below them is a clearing. That's where I'll be. Oh, damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, tranquilizer rifle. Pick up for the ammo. Uh, credit chip. Rucker's evidence. Okay. Unknown sender. Spoke to HK. Phase one is a go. Delver. Orchid ASAP. Then maintain cover. Deliver orchid. Okay. Rest of cell on standby. Add orders to follow. Additional orders to follow, probably. JM. 
M. Marchenko? Marchenko? That sounds like Marchenko. There's a terminal here as well. Uh, Biosal. An ebook. By Talos Rocker, The Inconvenient Orc, Chapter 2 Hope and Uplift. Potential unrealized. At the time when Hugh Darrow and his team were perfecting pedo technology, en route to redefining the very face of humanity as we know it, a fundamental mistake was committed with only the most noblest of intentions, which, as we came to understand, the ramifications of this new technology proved to be the very exemplar of damning by definition. They called the resulting prosthetics augmentations. In a very short while, this weighted term became the discussion. Embraced by those who sought out this technology for their own purposes, and rejected with equal passion by those who opposed it. In the process, the social discourse had lost all perspective of the myriad uses of augmentation technology in medicine, the awe-inspiring depth and breadth of what we could accomplish if the governments, societies and medical communities of the world would only capitalize on augmentation technology's staggering possibilities. That sounds like he was in favor of uh, augmentations. Now we only have this terminal left. Uh, so let's check out the terminal then. Security rating 5 and we don't have the code. Maybe we can find the code on his body? No. No. Maybe on the computer? Uh, blah 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 blah. I'm a divorced augmented mother of three who has been living here in Utilec with her children for just over eight months. In that time I have had three different jobs and twice between jobs I found it impossible to pay for neuropathy and if it weren't for the free clinics you and your people have helped to set up I would have gone into withdrawal and probably worse leaving my children with no one to care for them. Claire, my youngest, contracted dysentery during the grey water epidemic last week and when I brought her to the clinic I was sure in my heart she was going to die. But the antibiotics arc provided worked and she was saved. The world is a very difficult place, but I go to bed every night thanking God that the people of Utilek have a guardian angel like you watching over us. Well, that was very positive about Ark. Dr. Rucker, I appreciate everything you do for Ark and the Augmented, but you are wrong about pacifism. Nonviolence has not worked for us so far and never will. You should listen to Viktor Marchenko. So, I think that was JM, so not VM. When he says superior force is the only thing that has ever kept the world from spinning out of control. If you cannot adapt to the times, maybe you should resign and let Ark be run by someone more suitable. The Black Winged Angel. Okay. Hi Talos, my name is Lily, I live in New York City and I got augmented when I just was just... I was 15, just one year before the so-called August incident. I want you to know that I think you are a beautiful man and not just what you look like, but your whole aura is beautiful. The way you care about people, so no punctuation in that sense, and are passionate about your ideals. I think without your leadership the world would be a much uglier place and the Augmented would be even worse off than we are. I don't know if you have a girlfriend or a wife or any plans for a family but I think it's really important for you to think about that because we need more people like you in this world and it would be a tragedy if you didn't leave behind someone to continue your legacy. legacy. I'm sure there would be lots of women in Europe and America who would be willing to help you carry on your line and would be so honored they wouldn't be selfish about sharing the responsibility with other women to think about it. Think about it. Love, Lily. That was weird. And then from Shashka N. You always say you don't believe in war and now you're saying you don't want peace either. This is why people say you're only doing this for your own ego. My friends, in recent weeks from several different quarters I have been asked why I have not spoken out in support of the Santo Group's Safe Harbor Initiative. And the reason for my silence is this, I do not support it. Regrettably, the underlying premise of Safe Harbor is that the augmented and non-augmented must live apart because they cannot live together. I cannot endorse any proposal which is predicated on and thus advances that defeatist notion. Please understand I have nothing but the highest respect for those who are behind the initiative. They, like us, are striving to bring about the end of violence and injustice. It is simply the case that, while the motives of both groups are noble, our ideologies differ when it comes to the best way to create our brighter future. Okay, but no code. I'm gonna quickly look around a bit, because it looks like we have the time to do so. Hypostim injector. Smoke grenades. 
There's another ebook here on the corner. But. Ooh, machine. Nope. Okay, can't carry that. Let's check out the ebook, chapter 4 Talus Rucker and Autobiography. It was only during my tenure as patient in the augmented wing of the Buenos Aires Hospital that I truly became aware of the fascinating range of possibilities offered by augmentation technology. I served Medicine Sans Frontières proudly for two more years to repay them for all they had done for me, but for most of that period my passion had already shifted elsewhere. I had enjoyed the enormous good fortune of meeting Hei Don Su Chong personally when he opened Zimbabwe's first clinic. And so after my time in MSF, it seemed only natural that I would join Limb International. At first I concentrated primarily on the ways augmentation technology could improve the lives of the impoverished and downtrodden. But already in those relatively early days prejudice was spreading, and so my duties soon expanded to include campaigning for lower neuropazine costs and raising awareness of anti-org discrimination. So, okay, so he worked for Médecins Sans Frontières, the Doctors Without Borders, before anything else. More hacking software. So that's an interesting backstory. More breach software. We might be able to use that later on. But I can't really find the code to that terminal, which is too bad. So there was another weapons briefcase in that room that I missed. But everything else seems to be... Well, I can't access that terminal without the code, sadly. Because otherwise I would have done that, because I don't think... What happens if I hack something with a security rating of 5? Oh, I can't even hack it. Okay, never mind. Let's go outside then. Wonder how I'm gonna have to work through this. A gas grenade, I'm not going to be able to carry that anymore. So nothing here? Absolutely nothing here? Okay, I'm going to have to go out the room, I suppose. Oh, shit. How many little noises in this place? Kurva, someone just died! Uh, yeah, check. No signs of a problem. No, it's investigated. Weird. No signs of a problem, seriously, dude. Your leader just died. And you don't care, apparently. So I'm supposed to go over there. Why? I wonder how it is going in Mir. Make sure it stays safe up here. Okay, he away from the doesn't see me over here. So let's take him out. Hello! As long as I can do that, should be fine. Um, so let's vault over. And try to be sneaky about this. There's only one guy here, so I am going to switch to the tranquilizer oh. rifle. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Don't really see the man. Okay. He's working on the plant life, apparently. Um, please turn around. That's actually a nice patch of vegetables. So they're growing their own food in here, somehow. Oh god, please stay over there. And turn around to your left. Ooh, that was close. So there's another one over there, it seems. You can see the cone of vision, but I don't see him yet. Okay, so there's two guys over there. I'm gonna use another bio cell. Just to be able to uh, use my abilities if I need to. And I can't reload probably. So I'm gonna have to wait a second till they're done talking. Can I see them? I 
Okay, are you done talking? I think I saw a rabbit over here. Make sure it stays safe up here. Okay, so there's three guys in this room. There's just that one guy over there. So if I can hit that guy in the head. No, okay. So if I start aiming, the guy on the left sees me. He shouldn't right now. Oh shit, okay. That's, that turned him off, apparently. Jesus Christ. Okay. I think I see one of ours. We should help them. We need all the eyes we can get. Okay. Stay with me, but not too close. So they're going over here, and while they're doing that, I'm gonna just walk Someone down. Come on. this way. Invisibility is running out, as it just did. Okay. So that just got me out of that point. Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Down there. Can I just jump out there? Okay, never mind. Jesus Christ, why is that tranquilizer rifle not silenced? Ah, okay. I'm just put here now. Um, so for some reason, that thing is not silenced. It is silenced. There's a giant silencer on there. Safely handled. At the point of range. Jesus, what? I don't know why why that just happened. So I'm just gonna start moving away from these guys. I'm just using the map to avoid detection. Now I'm just gonna go down immediately. Because that's apparently the way to go. I don't see anybody down here. And I still don't actually see anybody down here. Where do I need to go now? Even further down or? Sounds like it. Let's go invisible. And drop down a few times. Jensen, the meter's running. Where the hell are you? I'm on my way, Shikane. Well, step it up. Jesus Christ. So there's two guys up there still. I'm gonna wait till both of them are looking the other direction. Or not, this guy's coming over here. He is going the other way though. So apparently nobody's suspicious about that. Great. Really, really great. 
That's weird, but great nonetheless. This guy's coming closer, though. Hmm. Okay, he's going away. So let's go inside here. I don't know if there's any enemies. As usual, I don't know if there are any enemies. Didn't kill anybody, didn't harm anybody. That looks like the final stretch. So let's... There we go. Running. They don't know I'm here. Okay, don't care about that one. Yeah, no lethal force, clearly. And there's Marchenko. There's Victor Marchenko. I'm gonna guess he's now the new leader of ARC. Because he's smiling at us. We did get the evidence out of the evidence locker because we, uh... Well, Rucker agreed with us. We convinced him to stand down. Not that it helped as much in the end. It probably didn't trigger his uh, soldiers though, so... That's great. All in all, successful mission, I would say. A lot Aside of from the good pile of unconscious uh, pile Your of bodies. Were to bring him in. I fully intended to. And how did this happen? He was hacked? He was kind of hacked by someone, so... I think somebody... Paid from, I think someone being paid to manipulate Ark killed him. Someone in his crew? Or, look, Rucker was convinced someone wanted him to disappear. Or confront. Hmm, confront is really aggressive, though, so let's refocus. Look, Rucker was convinced someone wanted him to disappear. Instead of pointing fingers, we need to focus on finding out who it was. Before dying, he told me that outside forces were perverting the cause from within. He said he had proof. What kind of proof? Well, we have it right here. Give it or keep it for Vega. Hmm. Hmm. That's... God damn, this is a tough decision. I'm gonna give it. An email on a pocket secretary found inside Ark. It's cryptic, but it reads like activation orders to me. Whose is this? I'm not sure. What did we get back on Victor Marchenko? The guy you wanted me to run through iLink? We didn't get shit. Maybe Chang can backtrace the IP. Find out who's talking to who here. Who's to say Rucker didn't write that email himself? Well, you'll find Only out then. To find out. I'll give it to cybercrimes. See what they come back with. Hopefully we can trust you, Miller. What a mess. You know word of Rucker's death is going to spread, don't you? And when that happens, the head of state police assures me Golem City will become a war zone. We can't let that happen. How do you want to stop that? I hope we're good on juice, Chicane, because I need a ride. As for you, Agent... I still have a case to solve, and I know exactly where to start, Director. Smiley's had more than enough time to analyze that DSD I gave him. The one you took from Rizika? I'll check in with him, see what's on it. After that, I'll go where the evidence takes me. I intend to make sure the right people are brought to justice for this, whether they're augmented or not. Get a move on, before this case gets any colder. And keep me in the loop. Jesus, calm down, Miller. Let's go, Chicane. I think that's the last time I ever trusted you. Hopefully, uh, Vega has uh, come up with something as well. And we have a lead on that account as well. I'm just going to check out my augmentations real quickly to see if I can get any new ones because I have two Praxis points available. Which should allow me to either upgrade one that I have already or pick an entirely new one. You know what? Let's see if I can't improve the invisibility because I am using that quite a lot. Close takedown. Execute combat takedowns without cancelling the invisibility effect. Okay. 
or no activation required, increase the duration of the invisibility effect. That sounds good. Uh, maybe the combat takedown as well, but I'm gonna check out the hacking first. Uh, hacking capture. Hack the level 1 computer networks to access information and disable security systems. Oh, so here I can upgrade which levels I can uh, take out. So let's upgrade that as well to level 2. And that should be fine. Okay. So we're back in the, the toy shop. Tell us Rucker's dead. What? Poisoned, I think. Holy shit, man. Rucker was the voice of the augmented. People loved him for it. Look at that. When word of this hits, Prax is gonna explode. And the whole world's watching. Listen, Miller's gone to meet with state police. Could be our chance to determine his loyalties. He lives near TF-29. You want us to search his apartment? Not us. Me. You keep digging into that Versalife break-in. And see what the Collective can dig up on a Victor Marchenko. If I'm right, and Rucker was poisoned, all three might be connected. Jensen out. This is cool, so now it's night time in Prague. Which is really, really fancy, actually. It's cool to see a change of scenery. Even though it's the same scenery, but at a different uh, time frame. Adam, you there? Okay, Sarah? Adam Orloff is in Prague. Okay. The guy that might have implanted this ago, he got new augmentation. Season and has been coming and going periodically ever since. Border control logged him in this morning. I arrived in Prague six months ago. Where is he staying? In the Lilioma Courtyard Apartments on Lavani Street, second floor. I'll check it out. Sounds like we have a few more uh, tasks ahead of us, but I'm gonna take a little break. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or another series. Goodbye!